We're back at Broom Tioga for the sixth round of the Winter Hair Scramble series. Me and Tom are on the starting line, running the C-Class again. We're off, and I've got the whole shot. So I've got the lead right now. I'm leading the race. This is coming from Tom. He said that he half kicked his bike on the start and he didn't get it on the first kick. So he's a little bit back on the start. Rough start for him. I, I'm in first place. This is new to me. I've never been in the lead this long before. What do I do? Oh, look, there's Tom. Oh, with a pass. Nice. Don't worry about these riders. They're from a different class. There was these drifts, snow drifts across the trail, and it was actually quite deep in some spots. It was crazy. No. It's a burning 25 degrees Fahrenheit out there. And there's water and mud. Oh, nasty blast. So if you remember from the last race, Orange Guy, he won. He won the race last time. And he's right on my tail. So this is pretty interesting. Tom's doing better. This is his third winter race. So he's a little bit more confident, more comfortable. I'm coming through these woods. Orange guy's still back there. This track is reversed from last time. It's the same thing, it's just reversed. Here I'm going. I'm going smooth. Not no, I'm not going smooth. I fall into the snow. Oh. An orange guy gets around me. So now I uh, I'm in second. Gotta get the bike up, gotta catch up. Oh, Meanwhile, oh, Tom's oh. coming down. Oh. 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 Alright, he's up quick. There's a guy in a different class in front of me. And then there's orange guy, so I'm chasing him down. Oh, look at Tom got his picture taken. I hope he smiled. Well, so now I'm, I'm caught up to this guy. Oh, yeah. Get around him. Oh, I got the throttle on. I'm coming for Orange Guy, except for, yeah, he's right down there, I think. coming up this so I finished my first lap going on to the second Tom's going up this hill and this thing I it's tricky and he just kind of lost it so starting your way up this icy hill it's not easy looks like the orange jacket got her out here comes Zach right now Good. Good pass. Good pass. Good pass. So 
I got around that guy from the other class, and now, orange guy, he's right up there. Tom's breaking powder here on the trail. And he finishes his first lap. So I'm right behind orange guy here. And the thing is, I'm not riding smooth. I am hammering levers, brakes, clutches, throttles, everything at once. And it's wearing me out. Orange guy just seems to be rolling smooth through this. And I, I'm just, I feel like I'm a maniac. Anyway, Tom's doing good. He's, he's coming through here. Now, this is a new strategy. I haven't seen this one before. Tom starts trash talking himself. Come on, you Get in the game. Man, he's being harsh to himself. Uh, so I'm just following Orange Guy, and I see this line over here, and I decide to take it without seeing this guy stuck, so I'm like, shoot! So I'm not too far behind these guys. They're right there. Go fast through here and I actually this jump almost got away from me. We got a nice poop smear across Tom's lens. Now I'm gonna do the trash talk yourself trick like Tom does because I do the stupidest thing. All the bike. I'm so mad over this. I don't know why. It's just so stupid. Uh, you know what? That's it. I'm putting a recluse a, a recluse in or whatever they call them. Actually, no, never mind. They're expensive. I like clutches anyway, even though I can't use them. Wait, look at this. Tom's fr frolicking around in the powder. Why is that word so funny? So now I'm done with my second lap, I'm going on to my third. And Tom's almost done with his second lap. That bike, it sounded so familiar. And I had to check, and it turns out that was Myers. I'm following Myers again. Remember him from the last race, I was following him then, and now I'm following him here. So Tom finishes his second lap. He's on to the third. I think Zach's gonna get by these two guys. There's Zach right now. There's the orange guy. And you can see Zach is probably now about 200 yards behind the orange guy. So he's losing ground on him. Maybe if he gets by these guys. Uh-oh. He went down. So I'm crashing a little more frequently now because the arm pump's setting in. I gotta figure it out. I gotta just, you know what? I'm gonna try that ace bandage thing where you wrap around your arms. I'll try the Advil. And what the, you know what I gotta do is just ride more. Looking for the woods. So Tom makes a good pass right here. Make a pass right here. Oh. Tom 
comes in the depths of the mud up here. So I finish my third lap and I go on to the fourth. See, I only have spurts of energy where I can go fast. So this guy, I come up to this guy and I believe he's in the other class. And so I've got a little battle. I can't really get around him. Tom's in the pine tree section. Almost done with his lap. We're going pretty quick through here. And I kind of want to get around him, but I don't really, I can't make a move. The arm pump is just killing me. Tom finishes third lap, going on to the fourth. I'm chasing this guy down. It's actually coming up here on his fourth lap. There's 859. Remember, Zach spilled. And, uh, I don't know if he's going to catch up to this guy or not. 123. Oh, he's right on this 123 guy's tail. See if he can catch 859. That'd be a good goal, but at the end of the race. Looking fast. Looking fast. It's all going well until something happens. Get this thing up quick. I'm off again. I'm passing that guy up here in the mud section. His speed has really improved. I finished my fourth lap going on to the fifth. actually gets lapped by Yellow Shirt. Now, remember him from Ithaca Dirt Riders in the summer? That's Yellow Shirt. He's the guy I followed for a long time in that race. You'll have to go check it out if you haven't seen it. Okay, here we go. Here we go. The crap, the crap begins. This is called strength. I don't have any. I can't even f up the bike. The arm pump just destroyed me. Tom's having some fun over here and a little action. My bike is not starting. And the arm pump, I can't even press the electric start. Come on! It's like I can't move my hands. So this is not good. Come on, buddy. Pump start! Guess who that is? That's Green Guy from the last race! Asking me how it's going. It's not going all that good, but... Yeah, I'm good! Huh, you know, it's great. This is... Everyone is nice. It's a great... Great racing community. It's a family. Anyway, I get the bike going, and I rev it, because I'm like, you know what? That's your punishment for not starting. Gosh. And, oh, Tom finishes fourth lap. He's going on to the fifth, and... I, I'm frustrated. I just am like, come on! And then I stall it. Forgot to bring my starting fluid out to the track with me. Jeez, what the heck's going on? Tom's in some action over here with some, some people he's following. I'm having a great jolly time over here. And then finally, woo! She starts. It's about time. Now Tom gets some mud on his new goggles he got. Roll-off goggles. He's never used the roll-off before. Here he goes. Oh yeah. Clear vision. Clear 
suspicion. First time I put that roll off. Oh, he's getting, he's getting a little battle going. Me, I'm just a wreck. Look at, I'm holding on to my bark buster. This guy right here must have thought I was crazy. Oh. Wow. Tom's into this. That was a quick recovery. That may have been, that may have beaten one of my times. Uh, so, my issues are over with. But, now Tom's begins. You get off the trail into the snow and it's almost impossible to move. Tom's just ramming his way through. Are you kidding me? My hands don't work. I can't even use the clutch anymore. I'm coming in and finishing it up. Uh, you know, coming in goon style with the leg hanging out. I don't know what happened, but he was way behind. Look at this. We got double A rider Tom flying through the woods. He's going fast. He's picked it up. He's getting it now. I'm finishing up what was a good race that went bad. Kinda bad. It wasn't too bad. Oh, shoot. Are you kidding me? Little spin out there. Oh. Tom's wrapping it up. Man, that guy didn't have bark busters. Did you see that? Man, that's crazy. Tom's an on-off switch, pretty much. He's there's there'll be times where he's hauling, there'll be times where he's just cruising. Yep. Oh! That's orange guy! Maybe I should call him. Maybe we should name, you know, call him by his real name, Chris. But I think he's known as Orange Guy now, so. Anyway, we finished. He didn't lap me. Tom achieved his goal, and that was to not have me lap him. So, results, I don't know. You're probably watching it now, and annotations are up, or they will be up very shortly of the results. So, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys back out there. March 9th is the next race. I'll see you there. Thank you!